What's up, my friends? Welcome back to Frogboy X1 Gaming. I'm Andrew, and today I want to talk about the 7600 XT that all the that all my colleagues to get free 4090s said that this card is not basically worth buying at the price that it is, or that it doesn't make sense, or the 16 gigabytes isn't gonna last you that long, or blah blah blah. All all, all the all the nonsense that they say to make you feel like this card is not worth your investment. Well. As somebody that has pretty much been very impressed with the overall performance and experience that AMD delivers this generation with the 7000 series cards, um, I can honestly say that after my first day of testing this 70, the 7600 XT, um, playing games like Tekken 8 at 4K at 60 frames per second, and having that work with ultra settings and and being a playable experience like like good um to going back to a uh, hogwarts legacy being able to play that at 1440p at 30 frames per second with ray tracing and everything set at ultra um getting over 60 frames a second on on a hogwarts legacy without ray tracing and it being a stable experience I, I don't know what these guys are talking about, man. Like, seriously. Everything that I've thrown at the 7600 XT so far has worked and played and been great. And we're talking new games. I'll be testing even more games today after work. This card, for the, for the price that this card is and for the system that you would be putting this into... Um, if, if you're on a 1080p or even a 1440p monitor, I believe this card is going to be good. I'm playing Assassin's Creed Valhalla over 60 frames per second. I'm playing this this card easily, easily matches and exceeds what the PS4 and or the PS5 and the uh, Xbox Series X are doing on most of the games that I've been playing on it. I'm able to get, uh, what was it? Um... Automobilista 2, 4K, max settings at, at about 55 to 60 frames per second. You know, adjusting a couple settings easily at a 60 frames per second um, experience for, for that game. Now, if you are, are buying this game or are buying this card and you're wanting to play like 1080p, 1440p, I'm, I'm easily easily getting max settings max settings with this card like like no problem it doesn't it doesn't stutter it doesn't run all bad it it easily gets to where you want it to be now i know that like um i still haven't tested like call of duty i still haven't tested you know like resident evil 4 um i i haven't tested like a whole bunch of these games but in my honest experience the uh the 7600 xt versus you, you just 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 take the uh the 7800 xt for for example um i said this in a video last night but when i'm at when i'm at like 1080p i feel like i get the same settings the same experience that i get with my 7800 xt at 1440p um and the only the only card that like kind of kind of struggles in in its in its bracket is probably the 7900 XT like I feel like I'm 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 averaging you know over 60 frames a second on on the majority of games that I play at 4K on that card um but some of the newer ones the the, the 7600 XT is definitely over 60 frames at 1080p the 7800 XT is over 60 frames at 1080p um I I do have to utilize uh FSR on the uh, on the uh, uh <laughs> on the 7900 XT sometimes at 4K whereas on the on the 7600 XT and the 7800 XT I don't necessarily have to use that as as often um as as you would think for those for those cards in that in that um in that bracket now I've never said that I'm like a PC expert or anything like that but I can tell you that like having new technology in this card you know the A av1 encoding all of that other stuff it you know access to hyper hyper rx to fluid motion frames now a lot of people out there myself included when when uh frame generation first came out and this is this is in my ignorance before i even had the opportunity to try it 
Um, I was bashing it and saying that it's not good, but I found in my testing, I'm, I'm like that. I'm, I'm willing to give everything a try and, and see how it is and see how it affects my experience. And so I normally use fluid motion frames now for my open world games or, you know, racing games or just, just that single player experience with a controller to, um, to give me that overall smoothness of the screen because that's i mean that's what you know most of us want it actually helps with the image quality um it helps with with the overall experience making it smoother so that you can just get in there and play and when when you're using fluid motion frames on like an open world game or racing games or something like that it it stabilizes and it kind of helps with like your cpu overload and stuff like that it, it definitely helps it makes things a lot smoother so yeah, it's it's kind of a tool that that you can use to get a better experience. So I, I I I don't I'm not I'm not against it at all. I'm not against you know FSR. I'm not against DLSS. I just personally don't like the way DLSS looks. I kind of think it makes my games look a little too perfect most of the time. And I do like a little bit of character with my games, so it's easier for me to uh, um, like you know like FSR over over nvidia's dlss i just i just don't care for it ray tracing you know hopefully next generation it'll be at a point where we can actually use it on like a mid-range card and and get a good experience because right now man it's it's just way too expensive to to really be chasing especially like right now because the, the experience is just not there so it so it's almost like each generation so far, it's been like, oh my gosh, I want better ray tracing. So you feel like you got to just run out and buy a new card. Um, I will be testing out some ray tracing today on the 7600 XT. I'll be testing out um, a bunch more games today, um, tomorrow, Sunday. Like we're, I'm going to put this card through its paces, but as it sits right now, I definitely think this is a card worth worth taking at least at least looking at and following more and watching more content on it uh <laughs> just so that you know <laughs> but yeah man if you guys like this content don't forget to like and subscribe i'll see you guys in the next one thanks for watching